Please select the Add to load a part. Then, select the desired file. In this case, we will be using a sample bridge, part type crown bridge. Then, select the prepare button to prepare the part. Please ensure that you've selected the right part type. Next, you will be setting the milling direction. Then, you will be setting the margin lines. Please zoom in and click on the margin line. After clicking on the margin line, it will automatically set where the margin is supposed to be. If the margin line is not generated automatically, then you'll have to do it manually. To do this, please select the manual option on the left side of the screen. Then zoom in to the margin and click and drag to draw out the margin line to your liking. Please remember to identify and select all the margins in your mill job file. On this page, you'll be identifying and selecting the pawn takes in your milldrop file. As seen in the video, you can do this by easily clicking on them. Then select OK. Please select the Suggest Blank. Then click the option New Blank. Here, you can not only select a preset blank, but you can also change the scaling factor to whichever your liking is. Underneath, you can see the blank name, where you can change the blank name to whichever you prefer. In this case, we will be naming this blank Zirconia. 25 millimeter. After pushing next, you will be able to move the part to nest it. Please select the move part option and move it towards the edge or wherever you prefer. Here, you can twist and move to wherever you feel is right for your blank. Please ensure that it does not touch the red line outlining the blank. Next, you'll want to adjust each cavity insertion direction.
You do this by selecting the margin line and selecting the button on the left side of the screen. As displayed in the video, the insertion direction is based on the view direction of how you're looking at your cavity. Please ensure you do this with each cavity to ensure an accurate insertion direction. After setting your insertion directions, you'll want to set your connectors. In this case, we'll be setting ours manually. Please zoom in and set your connectors onto the green line you do this to minimize undercuts. After setting your connectors, you can set your center frame. On the left, you can see you can change the thickness or thinness of the wall, base, or the support plate. Click onto the mill job to automatically set the center frame into the software. You are now ready to calculate your toolpath.